now. And now we're live. Come on, Mr. iPad. We're in the gap. Hello, hello, hello. I'm back again. Did you miss me? Just bear with me a second, ladies. I'm just having some time management issues today. I decided to have some lunch, which meant that I had to sit down for a minute and then I got talking and then, you know, and then we had to eat the yummy cake that Susie dropped in. Oh my gosh. Did everybody see that? Um, hello, Amanda. Um, yes, there was a knock on the door between filming earlier, which was amazing. And I raced to the door and there was Susie standing there, one of my lovely ladies who orders from the online store. Thank you. And she had made Louise and I a gorgeous slice. And she has also made us this gorgeous card. Um, and this is I'm not going to read the inside, um, but she was inspired by last night's live Facebook uh, where we played with alcohol inks. And uh, can you see how amazing that looks? How good does it look that she's picked up the colour with here, framed it with this gorgeous orange cardstock, which has enhanced this whole middle section and made it look amazing. So really loving that. All right, so I have a little box of goodies here and what I want to do is talk to you about washi tape and die cutting. Um, what I have been doing this morning is we did a little live Facebook earlier using AB Studios and it's all right, I'm just getting my little stash of washi tape out because I was a little rushed. Um, okay, so yeah, my the, the washi tape that arrived for last week from Ulta New is divine and I really, really loved it. And I wanted to show you how to create some cards using it, using dies, and how to make it really, really easy for you to create with what you have at home in your stash, but also introduce you to some things that you didn't realize that you needed. Because you know, that's how we roll. So first of all, um, if you jump online to nataliemay.com.au, you will find for today only uh, paper at 15% off. So you need to jump on that because that is for today only. Um, I don't know how many more packets you can open. <laughs> I'm trying. Are you trying? Thank you, Louise. Splendid. Um, so what I want to do is a little while ago, uh, earlier last month, I did a online training session with a, a couple of different companies, Spellbinders, uh, Spellbinders, Waffle Flower and Ultra New. So I learned how to use some of their amazing dies and stamps properly and learned some really cool tips and trick techniques. So I'm going to show you today, first of all, how to make this card using the... Spellbinders die, which I put in a safe place. Here it is. Stop looking. Uh, this one is available and it is called the Colour Block Slices. And it looks like it's a pretty boring sort of die, but they have absolutely nailed it because this just looks so so very easy to use and it creates this really cool effect so this one is not using washi tape but I just want to quickly show you because it's really really easy to use so what I have done I have pre-done is got some colored cardstock and you could use any sort of patterned paper and I have pre-cut a few of the wedges. So the dies themselves, this is an awesome way of using up your scraps as well. Oh, here's a bonus piece. Um, using up scraps of cardstock. So they're just these wedges. 
if you were to try and create a card like this without or with or even a scrapbook page without this die you have to work an awful lot harder at it so these ones here have got the perfect angles to make your cards work uh, first thing I'm going to do is work out where my middle is and then I'm going to mark on here so I know that this is about three inches. How many times can I put my pencil down? There we go. So I'm just going to mark it at three there and three there and peel off the tape. I'm then just going to start in the middle here and I'm going to line that up from there to there. So this is a really, really super simple now i haven't put tape on the top yet i'll add that on in a moment and where's all my other pieces here we go here is a blue piece hello vicky how are you my love put that one on next then i've got a red piece here and you can see that it's going to line up beautifully look at that down, done, done, done. And I don't think I've cut enough pieces, but that's okay. I'm gonna put, where's an off cut out of my rubbish bin? There we go. So, oops. So this is the, oh shoot. The Spellbinders die that is designed especially for this purpose. And that would have been better with a red piece, wouldn't it? The balance. I might put a dark brown piece here and I'm just going to grab it out of my scraps all right now of course if I had used a uh, far more visually stimulating cardstock that would look much 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 nicer but in order for me just to do this quite quickly without all the die cutting live on camera because I'll do some of that in a moment but uh, this will work really really well so this die is made especially for this purpose and then I can just get my scissors or my trimmer cut around this cut all these little bits off and done so it's one of those dies that you look at and go well you know what that looks really really easy to do but if you're trying to do this technique and create a card like that without those perfect angles it all goes very very pear-shaped and of course then you just you can cut out so i cut out a piece just a plain circle in vellum and use some of the spellbinders uh what are they called? Did I not stick that down? Oh, there we go. Uh, use some of the Spellbinders little mini flowers and leaves to stick those on with the Spellbinders stamp. So they are all available online. So excellent way of using up your excess cardstock and making sure that you, whoops, I haven't stuck that down, and making sure that you get really good value for money out of your cardstock using one die. And this would be great if the card went like that, even like that. I could take this and pop that over the top which is one of the paper rose dies or even mix up and play with the angles a little I've got a happy birthday here from paper rose Whoop, birthday happy instant card done uh, or even some of these gorgeous little paper planes from paper rose as well around the card so there is one super cute and easy 
technique just using one die and you can see how versatile that would be if you had numerous different um, papers left over in your stash and you want to use all of those up. So you're looking for spellbinders online and this is called the Colour Block Slices. Uh, slimline dies are huge at the moment. They are absolutely massive. Um, of course, here in Australia, I'm sure we just call them DL size dies because that is what all of our bills come in and your bank statements, etc, etc. Uh, so I've got these two in and these are the brand new releases. These only came out last week. Uh, this one is called Blossoming Slimline. And this one is called Moroccan Kaleidoscope. So this particular one here has got five dies in it. And I have pre-cut... Pre-cut a couple of little bits here for you. So this is what it looks like. So how gorgeous is that? So it has the three little... Three little discs that come with it that are going to layer up in sizing. So you can see that this one's a bit wider, excuse the colour of my hands. Um, this one's a bit bigger. This one goes over the top and then this is the thin one. So I'll cut these out in a minute just to show you. Um, but you can certainly see up close what we're looking at here. So I've got the red in the, or well, the hot pink in the background. I have a gold in the middle and then I have a pink on top. And then I have the blossom, oh, the, the Moroccan frame here that just sits nicely over some plain white. But I've just added a little bit of pink with my uh, sponge around the edges, matted it on gold. And then I've got this gorgeous, super nice slimline dye. So what I want to do very quickly, I have pre-cut out this one here and I'm going to add some washi tape to whoops, some washi tape to the card underneath for my colour just to show you how it looks. Now for those of you who don't know what washi tape is, washi tape is a low tack, low adhesive Japanese tape. So I have um, a few different ones here. We got a big shipment in this week. This is the um, Ultra New Geo Rainbow. So that is amazing. So that would roll out over that whole piece, which would be great. Then I've got a couple of different, whoops, a couple of different um, thicknesses of rainbows in. So I'm a sucker for rainbows, love those. So that is a 10 mil. No, 10 metres. 6.9, nearly 7 centimetres for that one. Uh, what else did we get in? Oh, the gold. Like, look at that gold. That's stunning. That came in last week. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some gold behind this one. So where if I can find my gold washi tape. And I'm just going to... So if I haven't got any gold cardstock. There we go. I'm just going to run that straight down and it tears. But what I do is I just put my craft knife there and just butt them up next to each other. And then I've got a creating a quick and easy background if I haven't got any gold cardstock. So when I lay this over the top in a minute, and you can see on camera that gorgeous shine. stuff all over the place here I've got a little bit of something something stuck there but that's all right so now that I've done this there's so many things I can do so if I now layer that over the top trim that down later up layer it over the top I get a gorgeous card I can cut these little uh, medallions over the top and lay them up and I've got something super stunning that looks really gorgeous. The other thing that I could do with this is let's have a look at some of these other little dies, die cuts that I have. 
I've pulled off. Um, what do we got here? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I've got this guy. That's kind of cool. There's a die cut there. Um, oh, that's pretty. Okay. So this is the Doodle Flower background plate. And that's a Paper Rose uh, plate die. So that would look great if I just stuck that over the top there. But let's go with sticking down this on the top. And then I will trim around it. So rather than going total edge to edge, I'm going to just use a very small amount of glue. And I'm gonna pop that in the middle here. Just using my uh, puzzle glue. And I don't need to go all the way around, but I'm just gonna do a couple of little high points. And just give that a second to catch the glue to catch come on and then I'm going to come back in a moment I'm just going to let that glue catch and I'm going to come back in a moment and show you how I cut these with my Gemini machine so I'm just going to pop that to the side something else I want to show you very quickly is how I did this card here so this is a waffle flower die and I have pre-cut one out here so this is part of their thank you kindness series that is out at the moment I have uh, I might pop in a little bit later or maybe this evening and show you how to use their layering stencils that I have in stock um, because they are so very very cool but you can easily use the rainbow washi tape under this one just like um, just like this here so this particular card, I used the JJ's Rainbow pad, and this is made, this is just rainbow papers. That's all it is. And there's two of each paper in the set. And as you can see, if you were to cut that in half, you get a card, a card back ready to go. So there's a few different designs here in your rainbows, super gorgeous. Um, and they are on special too, 15% off, which is fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a piece of cardstock. Here's one. Does that fit on there? Can I get it on there? Yes. And I'm going to... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use washi on this one. I'll use some of that pattern paper very quickly, like I did with that one, just to show you how quick and easy that is. And then on the next card i want to use this gorgeous australian paper a washi paper washi tape gosh there we go all right so let's peel that off and i can stick that on there Got those little bits here that i've missed just pull those off and again exactly the same thing so with my glue if you haven't got um a super fine glue you can do what I quite often do, and that's make a dob of glue on my table. Yes, that is the technical term, the dob of glue. Now, if you have any questions, ladies, please just ask away. They do pop up on my screen, but there is a 20... 20 second delay. Um, so Annie has just asked, what make is that stencil so i'm using dies here that i have die cut using my gemini machine so i have pre-cut some of these and this particular one the black one here that i'm working on with the hand is from waffle flower and that is available online there is also i've been using the spellbinders one all right stick that down and then what i like to do so, so far I've been using Spellbinders, Paper Rose and Waffle Flower. They are the three brands of die cuts that you will see me using today. So I could use, this is the, the paper of course is the Waffle Flower pad. 
of JJ's rainbows, but I could, oh, that bit's annoying me. Sorry guys. Uh, I could easily pop anything. I'll just leave it alone, Natalie, leave it alone. I could easily use um, some washi tape underneath it or another piece of pattern paper. Cut that down with my trimmer. more of the top there. Oops, nearly lost a lot there. And if I stick that onto, oh, that's very crooked. Must have done that in a hurry. Stick that on the front. I've got an instant card front. I can stick a sentiment across the top and done. Quick and easy card on a bit of paper using some die cuts. Okay. So it's that whole overthinking that we do. It doesn't have to be super complicated. Simplicity can work best every single time. All right. So I'll add that to my pile to finish off off camera. Now, the Australian washi tape, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. What I'm going to do is just cut down some simple six by fours. So the card stock that I am using here, I sell it in a pack of 10 with envelopes for $3.50, I believe. So uh, the, the cool thing about it is you just fold it in half to the size that you need and you will get the Australian card size. So I really love this weight. It's got a nice weight. It is lovely and white and super easy to use. Um, Okay, so these four here, this is my purple tape that I use for masking things off. So just ignore that. But the these here are from an Adelaide company called Earth Greetings. Earth Greetings. And this is just a $2 washi holder from Kmart, by the way, people. Um, but I love this washi tape. This has got all of these really lovely Australian designs. And they are absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to layer on an angle these designs. I think this one that I'm using here is called Lemon Scented. Oh, come on, out you come. And they, like I said, they are a low tack tape. So they are not something that you use to stick down as a permanent thing. So when I use washi tape, especially on cards and layouts, I'm going to tape my edges over like that. And now I can take a a word, sentiment of some description or a stamp sentiment and stick it straight over the top. So I've got this one cut out. I've got this one cut out, ready to go. Keeping it simple, right? Love that. So if I do that again with a different design, let's have a look and see what these other ones look like. This one is really lovely. This one is called Breathe. And for this one, I'm going to do a nice horizontal stripe. Now, if you do want a more permanent solution, you can put double-sided tape down first to make sure that they are stuck properly. But they, like I mentioned, it is a low tax. So you can use it for securing... Um, dies on your cutting plates if you need to. I use the use it for gift wrapping and all sorts of bits and pieces. Oh, this one's my favourite. I love this colour. So 
So because I like to make card fronts, I would then stick this onto the front of a, um, a folded card ready to send out to friends and it would all be good to go. So I could do that. Oh, that's pretty. Voila, quick and simple. Doesn't need to be over complicated. What else have I got here that I've pre-cut that I could use? Um, imagine if you were to use this one here. So this is one of the paper rose dies that I have pre-cut. You could do the border edge all the way around underneath in washi tape. That would be really lovely. So there's that one. This pink one is gorgeous as well. Gorgeous. Keyword for the day, people. Keyword. And I'm going to go straight across the bottom. And you will find these uh, in the section. I think I have a section called washi tape. Keeping it nice and real. And they've just bought out another four new designs. And I love that they're an Adelaide company. So they are all designed by local artists. Um, you'll also find in the online store. Do we have any of the calendars left? No, no, no calendars We've left. Notebooks. We've got notebooks left in these designs. And we have this gorgeous for a little rainbow gift bag as well. Oh, that one's nearly too short. So your cards don't have to be super over the top complicated. There is n There are no rules to card making other than just make something that makes you happy. It doesn't have to be <laughs> over the top. So with this one, if I've got, oh, look at that. Got a bit of hay. Oh, look, that would probably be better with another one at the top there. Happy birthday. Look at that. Simple, quick card. I could do a stamp, stamp sentiment over the top of that. Uh, I could do so many other things to do that. So washi tape, really, really easy to use. Oh, shit. Fizz. Hey, it's Louise. So, so, don't so, keep so, that sorry. camera. That's all right. Let's just... Sorry, can you pull, could you pull your table back just a fraction, Del? There we go. All right. So there's a, um, a couple of quick cards there designs with washi tape. You can also die cut washi tape. Uh, so if I had another design, what do we got here? If I want to die cut a word to fit underneath that in a rainbow, let's do that. Hey, so this is a, well, let's see if I've got enough on here. Uh, a rainbow washi and I'm going to Go like that. Oh, what's the best stamp to use over washi? You could use any stamp over washi. What ink do you want to use? You want to use a permanent ink. You want to use something that, like an archival black ink, that is super juicy and inky, because you want something that is going to dry like it would on acetate. Because majority of the time, washi has a slightly um, slick, glossy surface, surface to it. Um, so you want something that is going to, is going to uh, stay. And the other thing is you're going to need to make sure that it is dry before you touch it. So you're either going to need to heat set it if you're going to stamp over the top. Or um, give it a decent amount of time to to dry. Okay, so here is. Did I put the dye away? I, bet I bloody did. What are you going for? I was so organised, guys. You would have been proud of me. I did put it away. Hold that thought, guys. I just want to quickly grab the dye out. I've got it here, Lou. It's all right. Um, so I am going to cut it out using... Here we go. That. So I want to cut it out so that it sits on top. 
So this die that I have is the um, Paper Rose die and it is going to, it's like the big, big hay word, of course, as you can see. And I'm using my Gemini cutting machine for this. So when I use the Gemini cutting machine, for this one, I only want to use, oh, hang on. I want it to sit like that. It needs to be straight. So I really need to do another strip of washi. Uh, the Gemini cutting machine is the electronic cutting machine. They are a fabulous investment tool. I do love my Gemini machine. Oh, darn it. It's not straight. Did you like that? I didn't swear. Sorry, guys. I'm a little human today because it's Saturday. So in my machine, I want it to be straight. So I want it to sit like that. How do I keep it straight? I'm going to use some of this purple tape, which is a low tack tape to stick it down. And I'm just going to do that. Now, so the electronic cutting machine. So the Gemini is a, an investment tool. It comes with all the plates that you need and everything that you need. Um, I like to use, it's got the, um, it's got some mats here. It's got a metal, what's that called? A magnetic plate. And I'm just gonna bring it into camera. So excuse me if there's some more camera wobble. Can't be as bad. Can't be as bad as Louise kicking the table. Um, and now I'll show you how this works. So I'm just going to sandwich these up. So I've got, that one goes on the bottom. So you've got a cutting plate which goes on the top like so. And because it is electric, all I have to do is put it in. Is it on? Yes, it's on. And we are done. All right. Voila. Done. Simple. So it does come in two other sizes. It comes in a bigger size and a smaller size. I like this size because majority of the dies that I have fit in it. So straight off of here. Ooh, I could use that. I could use that. If I'm just gonna peel this little guy off. See, low tack, peels right off. I can use that on something else. And I do sell the um, Gemini machines, guys. They are available to purchase online and I can post them out to you. Uh, there is a two day turnaround to, uh, to get them here. And then I would put it in the post, but you need to get in contact with me for that one. All right, so there's my washi tape in the background. And I just want to add a little bit of glue. And my glue has exploded everywhere today. I've been a bit gross with the glue. Oh, okay. And because I haven't used much glue, which is good. Oh, for goodness sakes, Natalie. Just use your fingers, not the tweezers. And pop it on, let the glue catch, count to 10. And you can use any sort of adhesive, whatever rocks your boat. Just don't use a glue stick, guys, because it's not kindergarten. Okay. There we go. I love it. So that would be fabulous on a black card. It would be amazing on a plain white card. It would look really great on a black card, actually. So there's washi tape in the background for that. And then we are good to go. So what else can I do with washi tape? So, oh, look, I can use that too. Okay. To, um, put some foam tape behind it. Put some, uh, uh, wee, there we go. Look at that. See, that would look pretty good. Okay. 
Okay, looks pretty great on um, black. So washi tape for the win. So that's the uh, waffle flower, waffle, <laughs> waffle flower washi tape. Goodness me, that's quite a mouthful. What other washi tape have I got here? Um, we have some gorgeous arty farty washi tape. This is by All and Create. This is called Horticultural Layers. And this one, I don't know if you can see that, is super gorgeous little pink flowers. I've got some rainbows with some little clouds. That is an Echo Park one. And that actually has a whole paper collection that goes with it if you're looking through the papers. Um, I have some arty ones here as well. So let's look at those. On a slimline card, so this one is quite a grungy Quite a grungy card, sorry, quite a grungy washi. Right, like that. Fold that over, fold that over. So from here, I could die cut that to make a really awesome pattern. I could stick my hay Oh, see, now I need to cut that one. See, that would look great in red over the top of that and then foam tape to the top. How awesome would that look? Oh, I've had an idea. I need to do that. Um, so how would I do it? I would need to cut that word again. So I will cut that word using plain white. So I'll get my Gemini out again. It takes less than a minute to do if I'm organised. This one here, so I want the want it face up on my magnetic plate. Pop that on there. Pop that one on the top. <laughs> and the cool thing about this die cutting machine is there is no winding a handle. You just give it a gentle shove and it just goes right on through and it cuts perfectly the first time. Well, for me, the first time every time. I have never had a problem with it. Cut, gorgeous. Give it a flick with the finger and it pops right out. Uh, hey Lou, could you please grab for me? There's a red paint pen. Bam, perfect. Thank you. Now if I grabbed a red paint pen to colour that in and, you know, if I had some red cardstock, it would have been ideal, but you know what? I didn't. I could have done that with red washi tape if I had um, pulled out my three million other pieces of washi tape. Um, a customer early today, the lovely Lynn, sent me a, a photograph of a project that she made using this this gorgeous tape and um it was like a concertina birthday card and it was absolutely stunning so really really versatile products to use um so there you go so making now more of a masculine card flip it right around there so how's everybody's saturday going it is wild and windy here in adelaide today it is a absolutely horrible day um but in saying that louise and i are still here in the studio with the fan on it's it's a bit it's not cold is it no just here for a little it's a bit it's a bit um brisbane weather isn't it mm. not quite ready for darwin weather if i wanted darwin weather i'd live in darwin could do without the humidity dun, dun, dun. super rough job so this is one of the Pintor paint pens that are available online. And now I can add a little glue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Done. And because this is a, um, the paper rose dies are a, a 
a layering die. So you get the two dies in, oh, look at that, nailed it on the first one. Oh, nearly. They're a layering die. So you've got the ability to be able to lay them up, stick them down. Okay. Yeah. And if I foam taped that to there, it would stand up even more. All right. So quick, simple, under a minute. And it would look great if I did it in bright green too, because it, it's a contrast against the red. Okay. So quick and simple little card. What else have I got in my stash? Um, I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. No, I'm not. I'm going to talk myself out of it. Okay, the new Slimline dies. We've got a whole range of different ones from um, Paper Rose that came in and Spellbinders, like I mentioned. This gorgeous little number here, let me show you how this one came about, and I will whip up this card for you again. So this is using one of the new Spellbinders dies that are available online. So we've got this round little flower, and also... It has a gorgeous cutout of a rose and a leaf as well. So I thought I might do a something similar. So I'll put a piece of um, cardstock underneath it to be about that size. And I want to cover that in washi tape. So what washi am I going to What washi? What washi am I going to use? God, I love how that rainbow looks. Uh, what have I got here? Let's go with this one since I do love it. And I'm just going to cover. So there's lots of different sorts of washi tape on the market. Uh, I, okay. No, Amanda, it's fine. Um, sorry guys, I'm just answering a few questions at the same time as it's coming down. Um, yeah, so there's lots of different sorts of washi tape available on the market. Yes, I could line all of these up so they um, matched up perfectly, but you haven't got the time to watch me do that today. Um, this afternoon I'm going to be doing another live art journal page and I'm going to be using some Lindy's Magicals and some stencils and some texture paste and some bits and pieces. Uh, and very possibly add some die cutting and some washi tape to that as well. Uh, just because I think washi tape is one of those underestimated tools, something that we all buy because it's so very pretty, and then we forget about using it. Um, all right, so that is gonna go on there. Pop that aside. Pop that aside. And I want to cut that off. So I could quite easily from here, pop that frame over the top, which looks pretty nice. As you can see, I'm just using inexpensive Kaiser card. Um, so I could use that. What else have I got here? That one. Where's my horseman? My horseman, he needs to go that way. That one would work out really well. So there's lots of really cool things that you can do if you haven't got the right paper, but you do love the washi. Um, okay, so this set comes with that. So that's the bit that I've already cut out. This time I'm gonna cut this bit out. And it's gonna sit right on the top. So I'm just gonna pop it into place. Um, look, Janet, I don't offer a cutting service. Sorry, sweetheart. I do not have the hours in the day at the moment to do that. Um, it's a fabulous idea, but um, a cutting service is something. So Janet's just asked the question, do I offer a cutting service? Um, no, honey, I just, I just don't. I just don't have the hours in the day. You can understand that. Um, and at no point am I ready to introduce Louise. <laughs> <laughs> Louise, um, into doing that. Uh, I do need her to come to work again. And I'm pretty sure if I got her die cutting a whole heap of stuff, it would open a can of worms that I just would not be able to undo. Um, all right, so 
straight down. How about I line the plates up properly? That would make it so much easier. Yeah, I, I think everybody could do with an extra set of hands in their life, which is why I have Louise. <laughs> because I did run out of hands and hours in my day to be doing that. Um, so yeah, everyone could do with it. All right, so now, ta -da, I've got that little guy cut out. And instead of gluing it down, I'm going to the drawer behind me and I'm going to pull out a bread. Does everybody remember breads? I have to say that's something that Louise probably wouldn't be familiar with. She would never heard of a bread. A bread is a split pin. I have a bucket load of them. And I'm just going to use my knife. Look away, people. Look away. It's going straight through. Oh, and I didn't slice my finger open. <laughs> Opening it up the other side. Dun, dun, dun. Secured. Okay. So with this particular card... You can see that there's one, two behind it, and I laid them over the top. But with this one, I'm just going to use one. And then I'm going to do one more piece with a different colour, a contrasting colour, so that I could do the leaf and the rose, okay? So with this one, I've just got a scrap bit of cardstock here so I don't have to cover so much cardstock. And we will do it in the blue. So these blue leaves. Did I, did I nail it? Did I get it in exactly the right spot? What are the chances? Oh, one more piece. So how's everybody's Saturday going? Is anybody up to anything exciting today? Other than watching me flounder around on Facebook. There's quite a few of you watching. It must be something, something happening in the part of the world where you are in. Surely. Making sourdough. Oh, that sounds exciting. I I can buy sourdough. <laughs> <laughs> sourdough is not something that I want to be making. I have lots of talents. Cooking and cleaning and wifing are not in my top ten things that I am awesome at. Um, and I'm okay with that, guys. I'm perfectly okay with that. All right, doing what's that? Doing your nails while you're watching? Yeah, my nail. That's on my list of things for next week. Um, yes, that is next week's maintenance week. Next week is the, uh, the nails and possibly I may even have a haircut just for the heck of it. Um, okay. Nearly done, guys. Sorry, I just realised I'm probably moved off camera again. So I'm just doing this bit for the piece to go underneath the rose, okay? And that is here. Oh, one more bit. There we go. Bit on the back of my hand. And that's going to go there like that. So the easiest way to do it for me is I'm going to pop it down onto there. Helps if you do it the right way, doesn't it? Oh, 
All right, now I'm just gonna run that through my machine again. Gentle, overcast in Perth this afternoon or having a lazy weekend at home. Just hanging out with me for the weekend, Amanda. Is that, that's not such a bad thing. It's not such a bad thing at all. Mind you, I suspect it's a lot tidier at your house than it is here. I'll have to send a photo of my uh, studio floor because it is uh, atrocious at the moment. All right, let's finish this one off. So now if I push that out, oh, that will layer up on top of that. So for those of you who have just tuned in, I am just making a bit of a mess here with washi tape and that will layer up like that. Um, I'm making a nice little mess here with washi tape, having a bit of a play, trying some new things and um, showing you how easy it is to use dyes with washi tape, how to use um, Sorry, concentrating. How to use uh, use the dyes that you have at home and introduce you to a few new ones that have just been released um, and use washi tape for your background as well. Uh, we did get a big shipment of brand new washi tape in last week from Ultra New and All and Create. And then um, they do look amazing with the uh, earth flower ones as well, which is what I'm using here. Sorry, Earth Greetings, which is an Adelaide company. And that is what I have used on this one here. So just in finishing up, I'm just gonna go back and show you a few other little tips and tricks and show you, recap what we've done, um, show you some of the, the things. So this is using the Spellbinders die set that comes with the leaves and the roses that you can layer up. So as you can see, we've got that one done yes that is a great glue I do love that glue Marina she's just asking the question and if you tune in tomorrow at about the same time I will be doing my favorite tools um, section my favorite tools video so I will talk in great detail about the things that I recommend all right love okay so here in the background we've got the um, the washi tape that I die cut out to match with that Spellbinders die. I have used washi tape to cut uh, on my background, then cut out the for the layering die for Paper Rose uh, here. So we use the big hay word and laid the small one over the top, which is this one here that you can see just off screen. So you can see how easy that is. Uh, if you were you if you're doing boy cards or masculine projects can you imagine how good that would look that tiny little paper plane with um, some washi tape underneath it uh, some pattern paper so they are just gorgeous and you get a set of four different size dies with um, with this set as well so they're really really nice what else have we got here we used the all and create washi tape just two simple strips across the back of the card and then I pre-cut that, recut that word out again and coloured it in very badly by the looks <laughs> with, um, with my paint pen. So I'm making a quick masculine card. I will finish this off by doing a black doodling line around the outside and matting it on some black. I'll do that in a moment, then photograph it and pop it up online. This is the cutout of, the, of this one here. So to give you a bit of an idea, I could quite easily match that on a piece of black um, like that. Just, you could, you know, like I said, turn that into a shaker card and I'm repurposing. Um, hello, Tracy Thorne. So yeah, repurposing with some gorgeous rainbow washi tape. The, the new Earth Greetings tape, which is the Adelaide brand. So um, I'm really loving that support supporting a local business so from this I'll show you what this looks like with the happy birthday 
words just layered over the top. So this would look great if I was to trim this down, mat it on a nice piece of this rich green and just keep it nice and simple. So that looks fantastic. Then the this one is called, this tape is the Earth Greetings one as well, um, called Breathe. And this is, a by the way, it's a fully sustainable um it's a fully sustainable company so they are all earth friendly and think about where their product comes from and how they package and how they reuse um, which is so important so that is the uh, earth greetings tape as well simple effective on that one um, and you can see as well if that was matted on a piece of black it would look fantastic and it would even look good on orange like Susie's gorgeous card here is um, there's that one this one is the lovely lemon oh what's it called lemon something blossom. lemon blossom lemon. so that's just on an angle oh goodness okay slippery little suckers and this would look nice on a um, navy blue piece of card for example What's it called, Lou? I'm having a brain fade. Yep, just looking. Lemon. It's wattle card, so it's lemon scented gum. Lemon scented gum. There you go. So that looks pretty great as well. Um, and then there's one more that I didn't show you, and I'll just give you this one's got a little bit of mauve and navy in it. And I'm going to do the down my finger trick so you can see that gorgeous pattern there so that one's got the purple tone through it with the navy and the blue so it is a super super pretty um washi tape as well as the other ones that i got in was this big 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 10 centimeter one from ultra new the seven centimeter one from ultra new then we've got this little guy here We've got a couple of different thicknesses in that gorgeous gold, as well as, oh, I've got some wordy ones here. I'll have a look at that in a second. So heaps of different sorts of washi. Um, I am your girl if you're after pretty washi. Usable, usable washi. Um, and then oh, this is what we did before with the green, with the gold one. So using the slimline card, sticking that over the top. So um, I could quite easily just trim that down. And I will cut out. I was going to do it on camera, but I've been waffling on too long to now. Um, so thank you very much to everybody for joining in. Uh, so don't forget, today only is 15% off of paper. So that is 15% off patterned paper collections. That gorgeous, that lovely um, rainbow uh, paper that I showed you from Waffle Flower. JJ's Rainbow, that's 15% off. And that only came out last week, guys. So that's a brand new release. The other thing that is uh, on special is the new 49 and Market collection that arrived only a couple of days ago. Um, you could add that to your collection as well at 15% off. There are heaps and heaps and heaps of bargains. All the information that you need is here. Um, nataliemay.com.au you could follow me on instagram and comment like tim holtz did earlier Woohoo! just saying um happy dax and my blog is happy dax as well where you can find out some information about my upcoming retreat um other than that if you have any questions please don't please don't hesitate to flick me a message and I will endeavour to get back to you as soon as possible. And I will be back here today at 4.30 to do an art journal page, which I cannot wait. Um, I am, I, I just can't wait to do it. It's going to be so much fun uh, using the new uh, Lindy's collection. And um, as per normal, I will photograph these projects and then pop them up online with some links to where you can find them on um, online and on your online store so um thanks guys i hope you're all having a fantastic day and i will chat with you all soon